Hi everyone, it's Elliot from TutorialEdge.net and welcome to part 2 of my Creating a Hacker News, Clone and Vue.js series. In the previous tutorial, we managed to get up a basic Vue.js project running on localhost port 8080 using the Vue CLI. Now that we've got our base project up and running, let's try adding a couple of components and seeing exactly how components work within Vue.js. So let's get started by creating a really simple component. Now, the first thing I always notice whenever I open up Hacker News is the iconic orange navbar at the top of the page. This will undoubtedly have to feature in our own clone. So in order to add it, let's open up the source directory and then the components directory. Within this, create a new file called navbar.view. Within this navbar.view file, we're going to want to create three sets of tags. The first of which is the template tag. The second is the script tag. And the third is the style with the scoped attribute tag. Within the template tags, we are going to define all of our components HTML. So anything like the nav component, any buttons, anything else would all be encapsulated within these two tags. Secondly, within our script tag, we are going to define all of our components, functions and data and the name of our function as well. And third is the style component, which funnily enough contains all of our components style rules. And it's going to be within this style element that we define our navbar's iconic orange tint. So before we get started with the HTML, we're going to want to import a CSS framework. Now, for this tutorial series, I'm going to be using a CSS framework called Pure CSS, and I'll leave a link to the official documentation for that in the description below. Now, in order for us to add this, we're going to have to open up the index.html, and then we're going to have to add the link to the Pure CSS, like so. Now, all of this code will be available on the text version of this tutorial, so don't worry about not following along right now. Now that we've successfully linked in this pure CSS framework, let's go back into our navbar.view and start populating our HTML. So the first thing we're going to want to do is create a new div with a class pure menu and pure menu horizontal, like so. Within this, we're going to want to create a new container and we're going to want to create a pure heading link. So a href and this will be just forward slash for now pure menu heading and pure menu link and this is simply going to be hacker news like so just below this we're going to want to create a ul of class pure menu list and within this we're going to want to create a couple of items so the first of which, li, will have the pure menu item class associated with it. Within this, we're going to want an anchor tag. And this will just equal forward slash as well right now. And we'll give it a class equal to pure menu link. Close that off and give it a tag like so. Now that we've got this, we also want to name our component. So within our script, in the export default body, we want to do name navbar. And this will let us import our component into our app.view component later on. Finally, we want to customize our menu. So pure menu, and we want to give this a background color of E17. 842 and that'll be that iconic orange for our nav bar. Next we want to do pure menu A and set the color to equal white. So now that we've successfully defined our nav bar component, it's time to actually render this within our Vue.js application. Now we can do that by coming into our app.view component and then within our script tags we'll simply want to import nav bar from, and then we want to specify the location of our navbar.view file. So add components and navbar. 
Next, we'll want to come into our export default block and within this define a new property called components and within this simply specify navbar like so. Once we've done this, we can come into our template tags and deleting that image, we can then render our navbar just by specifying two navbar tags like so. Now, before I forget, we're gonna to want to delete the styling within our app.view file that comes by default. Save that, and once that is successfully compiled, navigate back into your browser, and you should notice that our navbar component is now successfully rendering at the top of our Vue.js application. Excellent. So within this tutorial, we've been able to define a very simple navbar component, and then subsequently register that within our existing Vue.js application so that it can be rendered out to the browser. So that's all we're gonna cover within this tutorial. In the next tutorial, however, we're gonna start covering how you can set up routes within your application so that you can start navigating to different pages. Now, if you like this tutorial, give it a like, and if you loved it, then please subscribe to my channel for more programming tutorials. Cheers.